This is Jennifer Grimm, and today I'm going to talk to you about sound production. When putting the flute up to your mouth, you want to make sure that the flute is very low on your lip. In fact, think of it on your chin, and that your lower lip comes out over the tone hole. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you turn the flute out so that your lip doesn't cover the tone hole too much. In forming your embouchure, you want to make sure that the corners of your mouth are turned down. In fact, you definitely do not want to smile. Um, in the words of Sir James Galway, he says, a smiling embouchure is no good, and that's definitely true. So you want to make sure that the corners of your mouth are pointed down always. With your lower lip rolled out, you want to take advantage of and use the wet part of your lower lip to make the sound. Think of that saliva as lubrication for your air. Just like when you're whistling, it's a lot easier to whistle once you've wet your lips than it is when your lips are dry. Once you're experienced and get a good basic sound, you can actually go further to try to fill out your sound. One way to do this is by actually puffing out your cheeks a little bit when you play. What that does, it creates a nice resonating chamber inside your mouth, which actually produces a sound full and rich of overtones. Now I'll play a phrase that puts it all together. This is Jennifer Grimm. Thanks for watching and keep practicing.